Hi guys and girls, Miss Vaselli here with your next math flip lesson of the week. This week we've been taking a look at solving multi-step word problems, and we've been learning different strategies that will help you solve these problems in a more efficient way. The two strategies we've learned this week so far are organizing our data and using a number line to help us round the numbers within our problem. Today, you're going to be using a T-chart to organize your data. Let's get started. Our guiding question of today is how can a T-chart help you solve a really tricky word problem? For example, Nellie bought a TV for $2,310. She made a down payment of $510. She wants to make equal monthly payments of $180. How long will it take Nellie to pay off her TV? In this lesson, you will learn how to solve multi-step problems by creating a T-chart. Let's review. What is a T-chart? A t-chart is an organized way to see your work. Let's take a look at our first problem. Jamel is filling his fish tank up with water. The tank holds 20 gallons altogether. Jamel starts with four gallons already in the tank. Then he uses a two gallon container to add the water. How many containers of two gallons does he need to fill up the tank? First, I'm gonna start with highlighting important information. The first thing I notice is that the tank holds 20 gallons all together. So that's the number that I want to get to at the very end. Jamel starts with four gallons already in the tank. Then he uses a two gallon container to add the water. Let's take a look at setting this information up on a T-chart. I have two columns, water in the tank and amount added. For my problem, I already have the information that I'm starting with four gallons in the tank. So I've added zero so far. I add two gallons because I'm adding the water with a two gallon container and now I have six gallons because four plus two is six. Then I add two more gallons and I have eight gallons altogether. I add two more gallons and I have 10 gallons and so on. I know that I want to get to 20 gallons because it's a 20 gallon tank and Jamal is filling up his entire tank. Then I get to 20 gallons, but the question was, how many containers do I need to fill up in order to fill the tank of 20 gallons? So I need to count how many times I added two gallons to this tank. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jamel needs eight containers of two gallons each to fill the tank. Let's take a look at another problem, the problem we saw in the beginning of our lesson. Nellie bought a TV for $2,310. She made a down payment of $510. She wants to make equal monthly payments of $180. How long will it take Nellie to pay for her TV? First, I want to look for the important information in my problem to highlight so that it makes it easier on myself. So, I see in the very first sentence, it's telling me how much she's paying total for this TV. She's buying a TV for $2,310. If I jump down to the next line, I see she's making a down payment of $510. So even though this TV costs $2,310, Nellie only has $510 to pay towards this TV. So, with the money she still owes, she wants to make equal monthly payments of $180. Let's put this information in a T-chart. I have two columns, the price and the payment. I know that the TV costs a total of $2,310 and that she is making a down payment of $510. So I would say, $2,310 minus $510, and that gives me $1,800. Now, she wants to pay off this price in equal payments monthly of $180. So, I take my total and I subtract 180 from it, and I'm left with $1,620. I take that amount, and I subtract another $180 from it, and I'm left with $1,440. I keep doing this until I'm left with $0. 
So now that I'm at zero, the question in my problem was how many payments of $180 does this girl have to make until she pays off her TV? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So she made ten payments of $180 and these payments were monthly. So it's going to take Nellie 10 months to pay for the TV. In this lesson, you have learned how to solve a multi-step problem by creating a T-chart. Let's take a look at some guided practice. Here's Nellie again, and she's buying another TV. This time, it's a cheaper TV for $1,375. She made a down payment of $275 and she wants to make equal monthly payments of $220. How long will it take Nellie to pay for her TV? Remember to highlight the important information and then create a T-chart to help you solve this problem. Remember, you can always go back in the video if you get stuck. Now that you've had a chance to solve a similar problem, how do you feel about using this strategy to solve multi-step problems? 